uh, you know, it's been more on my spirit. And let me tell you, um, this is this is very disturbing what I'm seeing transpiring uh, in this country. It's it's extremely disturbing. You're seeing on a weekly, if not bi-weekly basis, major events taking place in this country. Um, you've had mass shootings are going up. Now you got people uh, in eastern Kentucky because people have uh, reached out in terms of family members and trying to find out where I am uh, in proximity to this I-75 shooting. Uh, I'm in western Kentucky, but People got to understand that Kentucky is a long and flat plain. We border with, I think, about five or six other different states. Me personally, I can be in Texas. No, not Texas. Sorry. Tennessee, Illinois, Missouri. <clears throat> uh, pretty quickly. Uh, uh, all within a half hour. But... What is so disturbing about this situation is that you see what's going on transpiring between factions and it's cut across ideological lines. And when you have these zealots, these religious zealots go at it, uh, let me tell you, man, A civil war is is pretty much in the making. And people don't see the sign of the times. Like I said, you have all these mass shootings. You have uh, the presidential race uh, highly politicized. And uh, like all others, uh, this is the most important election that we've ever faced. That's what they gear it up to be. But uh, if you have... Either Trump or Harris win. Uh, I sense in my spirit that there's going to be a great upheaval in this country. And again, we see the mass shootings. We see uh, the debauchery that's going on. Now, uh, look at, you know, uh, I, I scan social media and, you know, I am subscribe to a lot of good channels which you know give updates in terms of what's going on socioeconomically and I pair that up to what I'm seeing in the lives of people where the economic decline is pretty much clear there's the, the rich is getting richer the wealthy is getting wealthier the people are doing uh, well or getting weller uh, off the backs of poor people and the people that are doing poor are being poor and they're becoming more religious in spirit and you see uh, women murdering other women. You see women murdering men. Uh, you see all of this stuff just going through the roof. I mean, it's just commonplace today. People are literally losing their minds. And like Gerald Salente said, when people lose everything, they lose it. Again, when people lose everything, they lose it. Let me say that one more time. When people lose everything, they lose it. And this is where you have people that are justified in their minds that they're going to do harm. Uh, and they'll think and, 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 and they'll tell everybody that they're doing your service. Let me tell you something. You have dangerous situations that's brewing and that's manifesting in this country and it all goes to the economic decline it all goes to the moral bankruptcy it all goes to the spiritual bankruptcy and destitution and demonically topping off of people today you, you see it on social media people are just crashing out they are literally losing their minds uh, it's going from being entertaining to, to feeling sorrow because you got to understand, again, the chain of events. 
And if you have the spirit of discernment, which I thank the Father to have it, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, these people, they will get violent, and they are becoming violent. Why? Because they've lost everything. Uh, you see what's going on in this country. Uh, people losing their minds. Uh, uh, the moral decline, the economic decline is, cl is clear. Eviction rates are going up. People are being evicted at uh, an astronomical rate. People are losing their jobs by the millions. Um, people are... They know what inflation is now. And it's amazing how people really don't know what inflation is. They think that, that inflation is defined as the cost of goods and services going up. No, that's, that's not what the definition of inflation is. The definition of inflation <coughs> is the increase in money supply. And that pig, uh, uh, Trump, just like Kamala Harris and Biden, they, they all going to print, print, print. This is why... At this point in time, you see gold prices and silver prices going up. Uh, I tell you, moving to precious metals, now is the time. It wasn't the time 10 years ago, uh, but now is definitely the time now. Uh, me personally, I'm moving uh, <clears throat> to now uh, and tell my clients uh, and future clients that I now accept silver and gold as payment for service. Yes, I, I now officially uh, except silver and gold as payment. Uh, I.e., if a client wants us to pay me, don't want to give me cash, and want to give me silver and gold, I'm taking it. It's just a fact. Uh, because this dollar uh, is losing value at an astronomical rate. And let me tell you something. Uh, as civil unrest continues to break out, because it's already taking place, these are mass shootings, uh, 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 people murder on top of murder, people murdering their brother, murdering their wives, murdering their husbands. But th this is just all going through the, through the roof. And when you see women get involved in murders and, and, and jackings and, and, and thefts and violence, I'm telling you, I've seen pregnant women getting arrested by cops, pulling over, no driver's license, no, no proof of insurance, everything. What I do? What I do? I ain't do nothing. I ain't doing nothing. I'm black. You're racist. You're racist. Got no no proof for insurance. Um, driving around without a license. People are losing their mind. So you be careful out there. Uh, uh, be very wise in terms of how you move, how you how your family moves, even who you associate with. Let me tell you something. Because when these sycophants, and they will, they will. Uh, when they begin to draw blood, uh, they'll think they'll do, they're doing y'all service. See, these fanatics out here, um, they're losing their minds. Uh, we're, we're entering a seriously dangerous times. Uh, and let me tell you, man, um, be careful of the company that you keep. Uh, be careful who you, you surround yourself with. You better make sure that you're surrounding yourself with people that are up, living uprightly. Um, you know, it, it, it's amazing how we see this in the movies. And, and this has personally impacted me. Uh, this is how my son's father died. This is a factual story. He's sitting on a porch uh, with friends. And uh, even though he's had a previous criminal record, at that point in time, there was no evidence that he was committing any crime or doing anything. But there was a drive-by. And... He became a paraplegic, uh, 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 paralyzed from the neck down. I wanted to go and see him before he passed away. Um, and let me tell you, he couldn't talk, mouth move, big strong man, the big old strong man. Uh, you know why? You know why he was in that situation? And guess what? Nobody was there for his funeral. Nobody, nobody was there for him. Uh, because he didn't have any real friends. He didn't have any, any, any real people that really loved him. Um, you know, it's amazing, these gangbangers, right? Uh, they claim to be all types of tough and claim of this, that, and third, or whatever, but when the shit hit the fan, they ain't got nobody for them. Let me tell you something. You be you be careful out there. You be very careful out there because these are real-life situations that um, that it's having an effect. My, my son will never meet his grandfather because, uh, not because of what my his grandfather did, 
but because who his grandfather was associated with. Hopefully I was able to say something because um, this situation in this country, it's, 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 it's saddening. It really is saddening. Stay safe because uh, when the civil war takes place, you want to make sure you have three things, real skills, real assets, and most importantly, real friends. Develop real solid, close relationships. Stay away from hypocrites. Stay away from people that are stage plays. Stay away from people that, that talk to talk but don't walk to walk. Um, develop relationships uh, with your neighbors. Um, uh, love your neighbors. Honor your neighbors. And know who your friends and who your enemies are. Because let me tell you, your family's on the line. And if you can't distinguish between the two, uh, you're going you're gonna to be finished. Uh, because... There's nothing that is without that destroys. It always comes from within. Shalom. Have a blessed day.